Welcome to our crib. Today we're going to show you a tour of our 2019-29 TBS. It is a Transcend from Grand Design. So we have done some remodeling here. The couch was actually originally right here. And one of the large U-shaped dinette was here in the slide. We didn't like the way that was going. We wanted more seating for everybody. So we did the freestanding table and then just moved the couch over here. And it's really worked out because right now um, we're in Kentucky and we're on a bowl advisory for the water. So we've been having to use a lot more um, bottled water drinking stuff like that that we normally don't carry the weight around. I have a pretty good size freezer and refrigerator. Right now it's packed full because we are stationary. When we're traveling it's a lot different. And here is our kitchen. Tiny but functional. I love that we have the big open sink and the spray nozzle. This is something that I would recommend if you are a boondocker, um, is get a water bottle and put water and soap in it. That way when you're doing your dishes, you can just spray them and it really saves your water consumption. These are the cabinets where we keep dog treats and cups, all that fun stuff. And over here is where I keep plates, most used pan, um, silly stuff like we have an easy bake oven from Christmas. That was Sawyer's number one thing that he wanted. So yes, we've been hauling around the country. Gummy maker. Gummy, yeah, and his gummy maker. He has an easy bake and a gummy maker. We keep spices up here, microwave, stove and oven. This is how that works. And the oven actually is pretty functional. We use it to bake. Um, I mean, we've really had no issues with it. Right, this here is our entertainment area. The TV came with the trailer. We keep medicine and bug spray in here and more just kind of storage junk area up there. I love that we have all this storage area right here. This is mostly kind of like junk drawer storage type stuff, RV maintenance, bill book, important stuff. And then over here, this is just like spare. Um, towels and whatnot. These, I'm going to tell you, are so important whether you're a full-timer or part-timer. Um, we actually found these at the Dollar Tree, but you can get the name brand, which is Damp Red, and this keeps moisture out of the trailer. So I keep these like in the closet um, and some of our drawers just to keep everything dry and fresh. Um, let's see, down here is our movies. I could actually probably condense this a whole bunch and just get one of the CD cases, but haven't done that yet. Down here we have the um, important papers, pictures, stuff like that down here. And then this drawer is Rod's drawer. It just has his extra um, stuffs that he needs. <laughs> Rod, you need a lot of stuff? This is Rod. He's our 100 plus pound four waller. We got him in Colorado last summer. He's like our third baby. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to go look at the boys' room, which is Carter, Sawyer, and Rod. This is the bunkhouse. We have Sawyer up here on top. Each of them have their own little window. This is Carter's bed down here. Rod sometimes sleeps with him. He's got quite a bit of space down there. They also both have a light. And then we have completely changed
change this right here. I can um, drop a photo real quick to show you what it originally looked like. Alright, so these were down here. And then these had cubbies right here. Um, but we really didn't use this bunk. This is actually a bunk right here that came with a mattress and all. We just weren't using it with the two boys. When we originally got the trailer, we thought mm, maybe a third kid. But at this time, we're not really thinking about it. So we decided to put the dressers up here and then give this area down here um, a space for Rod. So that's so, kind of where we keep like Rod's bones, his dog bed and whatnot. Then we just kind of converted the storage in other places. And I got bins, like this is bins for their shoes. This is Legos and cars, it goes all the way through. And then this right here is like our homeschool stuff that we're currently working on. Back here we have all of their board games. And then this is just bins um, for like their electronic stuff. Then over here on this wall, um, we did put this TV in and these hooks came. I have added a couple of command hooks everywhere. These are RVers best friends. I also have them on this side for Sawyer's jackets. Even to hang some of the picture frames up here. Oh yeah. I love that we have the, um, what are these called? Pocket doors. That way, you know, when we do want some privacy or somebody's in the living room watching a video, we can close it off in here and they can just kind of chill out. All right, let's go take a look at the bathroom. So here again, we have a sliding door. It does not have a lock, but that's okay. We've learned to just, you know, respect each other's privacy. This is an awesome amount of storage. That's what I loved about this trailer is the bathroom size. I think it's still a pretty good size as far as functionality. We keep all of our crap in here. <laughs> we have a little too much stuff in here actually, but um, there's tons of storage down here also. This is where I keep our everyday stuff. Uh, toothpaste, all that kind of stuff, blow dryer, and this is like extra razors and all my nail stuff. Then up here, I just keep like extra soap and stuff. I try to use every little space that I possibly can. And this is the shower. So we ordered this off of Amazon. And then I just got a regular stall shower liner from Walmart and I just cut off the end because it was actually a little bit too long. And then inside here we have those, but we don't really use them that much as far as, you know, when you're traveling stuff falls. So we do set like our soap up here, but I found this on Amazon and it just hangs on the shower curtain and holds all of our bottles. So that's awesome. The sprayer does come down, which helps. We actually, we bathe rod here. Um, you know, the boys love it. Plenty of space in there. Then we also have storage on the other wall, which is where I keep our towels. It's not um, too full right now because we have a bunch of dirty clothes that I need to do. Laundry day. Yes, and then I added this um, wallpaper from Amazon just to give it a little bit more decorative feel. Oh, and the backsplash, we also added that. This is not original. It's just the pill and stick again from Amazon. <clears throat> and I think it just really makes it look nice and homey. All right, let's go check out the room where the magic happens. This is our room, the master bedroom. Um, let's see. This is Daryl's side of the bed. And then if you'll come on and take a look, I'm on this side here. So bed, we did change this out. It's a 10 inch memory foam um, from Amazon. It's a lucid mattress. That would be the main thing I would recommend too is changing out your mattress. No matter how nice of an RV that you get, whether it's a $25,000 one or a $100,000 one, the mattress is gonna suck. So change out your mattress here 
is another storage that we use. This is our ATV helmets. Um, our beach stuff is down here, beach towels, all that kind of stuff to store. Also like cold weather gear, um, hats and gloves and stuff like that. And this is, what would you call this, a moisture barrier? Mm -hmm. This you can get, it's like a marine moisture barrier um, for RVs or boats or whatnot. It just keeps moisture from getting under your mattress. Um, that's something that we did not realize and we actually had an issue with moisture under our mattress and got that and then changed everything out um, And then what else honey did you do you primed this? Mm -hmm. We put a waterproof so or mold you put, killing and preventative yeah, primer Like a primer on this wood that way it didn't get wet and then this is what the moisture thing looks like All right, and then on this side of the bed if you want to come look over here I have my cubby hole <clears throat> important stuff, you know weapons get stored right beside the bed. Um, this is like my little techie area. I keep my laptop here. And then this is where we store all of our shoes. I kind of wanted to put stuff on this side. That way we had that side for walking space. Cause I mean, I have to jump on the bed regardless. So I might as well jump from this end instead of over there. Then this is the TV. We added this, right? Or did this come? I can't even remember. We added, we added it. Okay. And then we put the swing arm too. So it actually comes all the way out. And it's really nice for when you're watching TV. We've had all four of us in here, plus the dog just laid up, you know, watching a Disney movie or whatever. And then it just folds back down for when you're traveling. Um, here I've used command hooks to hang all my jewelry. Um, command hooks again to hang hats and tank tops and robe. This is our huge wardrobe. Oh, right now we have all of our um, clothes, mine and Daryl's. And then this is something I've found which has been great for tiny living. It just stores all your earrings and whatnot and it's double sided. So it just hangs there. Oh, and again, damp red. These are the ones that hang. I hang one of these in the closet just to keep the moisture down. And then we have two drawers. One for me, one for Daryl. And this is also where we keep our laundry basket. Um, it's a really good little spot if we need to get in the drawers. We just pull it back a little bit and then get what we need. All right, and then we're gonna turn around here. You're gonna see the hallway. That's where we keep all of our towels. Bath towels when we're done, we just hang them there to dry. This is also Rod's chill spot. He loves to lay on our various rugs. Okay, so you might have been wondering what we do for pantry space because this travel trailer didn't have a designated pantry. So this um, was originally the couch was right here in this storage, but we decided to use it for our food storage. So excuse the mess. We have a whole bunch of food going on right now since we're stationary. <clears throat> so we just kind of pack stuff in there that's box stuff. On this side is going to be all of your canned stuff. When we travel, we really try to not travel with a bunch of food um, or liquid drinks and stuff because that creates a whole bunch of weight. So we're actually only supposed to have, what, 1,500 pounds of cargo. I would say we're a little bit over as far as cargo, but I do think that we save that and um, we don't travel with water usually um, or... Unless we're going um, to bend up. Yeah, unless we're going to Boonlock, but as far as long distances, like when we went across the country, we're not going to travel with full tanks. So. This is the outside of our rig. We uh, got two outdoor speakers and they scare a light or porch light. And then we installed a LED strip on and light that flashes and gives us a little extra lighter for cooking out here, sitting outside at night. How big is our awning? 20 feet? 19. 19 feet. And then here, it's a mess. It is I, a mess. I do use it. We have an outside refrigerator for all our extra groceries, and adult beverages, and kids' drinks. Right now, it's just overflow storage for the refrigerator. There's a black stone crammed in here, and extra bottles, and two burner cooktop. Uh, it has a quick connect propane hose underneath it here. Got some pass through storage. More overflow storage here. 
Yeah. <laughs> so this is our pass through. We got our outside table in there. Mm -hmm. Crossbow, fishing rods, water jugs, walking sticks, outside camp chairs. And it also has access from the other side. It has motion sensing light, which I've got turned off. Got some light in there. So this is pretty much just outdoor storage. Yep. And then the other side is stuff you use every time we hook up, right? Correct. Yep. And we've got ramps to load here. Yeah, there's our ramps. We just store those down there. We've got two 20-pound propane tanks. We have one extra tank that's in the pass-through on this other side. We did upgrade the dual batteries. We hadn't gone solar or lithium or battleborne yet. We haven't had the need to. got another grill because we like to put extension cords and pressure regulators and this is the the docking side the, my man side as I call it refrigerator access fifty inch solar power plug in ladder full walk on roof for maintenance and inspection and there you have it that's where we live